started the timer and here is your question. Okay, um, just a second. Just a sec. A few seconds to... left. Uh, 13, 12 seconds left. Right. So if you have read and understood, considering it critical care scenario, kindly tell me how would you manage this patient? I would manage the above named patients. Yes. According to the advanced trauma life support, which yes. I will use the A, B, C, D, and E of management. Yes. First, I will start with this. I will start with the airway. I will ensure that the patient has the airways patent. I'll look for signs of uh, airway bonds and uh, inhalational injury, which can cause airway edema. Yes. And I also, if, if the airway is, is not patent, I would uh, consider uh, some form of an intubation for him to intubation, nasotracheal intubation for the patient. Then I would then assess the breathing if uh, to make sure that the patient is breathing uh, adequately. Then I also check the circulation. the The circulation see that uh, his uh, that uh, the circulation is uh, uh, is is, is uh, in the body is patent. Then I also check for the disability whether the patient has uh, adequate disability. Then I also expose uh, my as well. Then uh, for this patient, I would it's ideally the patient is ma managed in a bond unit. I would. Uh, Calculate the fluid requirements of this uh, patient using the Wallace's uh, rule of uh, using the Parkland formula, which is two mil per kg per kilogram body weight. I will calculate the percentage. How, the, would, how the, much percentage uh, do you think this patient has uh, burned? How much percentage of burn? How? What criteria or what uh, method would you use to calculate the percentage of burn? Okay, I'll, I use the Wallace's rule of nine, yes. whereby the face the face is nine percent, the trunk uh, is nine percent, both anterior and posterior makes it eighteen. The left arm is nine, then both ties is uh, is is a uh, thirty six percent. So the patient has a has severe bonds. So uh, I would then yeah. it's second burn. Then how much fluid would you consider? For this patient, what would be the fluid requirement? Uh, for the fluid requ requirement for this patient would be the two two meals per kg per kilogram body weight, multiplied okay. by the percentage of his bone. Okay. I will aim to give half the half the requirement in the first eight hours, then right. the other half in sixteen hours. Good. So then uh, after the yes. If you fail to manage this patient uh, adequately on time, what are the complications of burn that you would expect? What are the squealy that will take place or come across? The, the complications of burns which I would expect for this patient includes uh, dehydration, uh, okay. which, I would, uh, which I would try to counter by my fluid management. This yes. patient would also have would also be in septic shock, where I would uh, constitute uh, uh, good antibiotics and uh, organ support. Then this patient can also have uh, renal failure, okay. uh, based on the uh, based on the complications that can arise from this uh, case. This patient can also have uh, some form of uh, renal injury and compromise, which okay. I would. Uh, which yes. I would, uh, Any other I would, I would, complication would, that you want me to consider? What might cause uh, hypovolemia or hypovolemic shock in this patient? 
Yes, he can have the patient can have hypovolemia and hypovolemic shock as well. Yes. How would it affect the cardiac output of the patient? Uh, sorry, sorry, ma'am. How would this burn would affect the cardiac output of the patient? Considering uh, patient the, is in yes, septic shock and hypovolemic shock and all this. So how would that affect? The, the cardiac other, output of this patient will be reduced. Cardiac output would be reduced, so there'll be increased vascular resistance. Yes. So what other uh, shock patient can go through? Yeah, the patient can go into septic shock, ma'am. Septic and uh, hypovolemic. Okay. All right. Uh, just tell me, how would you, if patient, if, uh, yes, come on continuously. Okay. Where do you think this, uh, you would manage this patient? Ideally, this patient should be managed in a bonds unit with uh, adequate aseptic uh, conditions put in place, ma'am. What are the criteria for a patient, burn patient to be admitted into burn unit that uh, the, this patient fulfills? Okay, uh, the criteria which uh, this patient fulfills includes uh, major, uh, a major, uh, a major bonds which this patient has. Then he also the patient has uh, uh, second degree bonds on the face, which uh, okay. features of uh, difficulty in breathing. Yes. And so these are the the major significance of features that can that should uh, make the patient to be to be admitted in the in the bond unit. Okay, one of the complication of burn is adult respiratory distress syndrome. Can you tell me the complications which are associated with ARDS? Ma come again, ma'am. One of the complications of burn is adult respiratory distress syndrome, ARDS. Can you please tell me or mention a few complications which are associated with ARDS? Okay, uh, some of the uh, complications, uh, they ca we can have a direct pulmonary complications, which can be an inhalational injury. The patient can have an aspiration pneumonitis. Okay. And, uh, there what can are also the be uh, which will be affected if you can quickly tell me. Ma? What are the systems that are affected or uh, because of ARDS? Can you quickly tell me? Uh, the system, the, the, the respiratory system is affected. Yes. And the uh, the cardiovascular system is also affected. Yes. Okay. Any other? Renal as well, the, cardiac as well, gastroenterology. Uh, and gastrointestinal as well. Okay. Can you please tell me what is the pathophysiology behind ARDS? How it takes place? Okay. Uh, the, the pathophysiology uh, in, in a situation of uh, uh, severe acute lung injury, yes. there can be some form of a reactive hypoxemia. Now, this leads to a bilateral pulmonary infection uh, bilateral pulmonary infiltrate and reduced uh, lung compliance leading to uh, a perfusion mismatch. Yes, how it, uh, can you please tell me what happens in acute phase and what is reparative phase? How it goes from acute phase to reparative phase? Okay. In ARDS, uh, if you can tell me the I'm details. So, okay, we'll come back no, to I'm that not... later. Can you please tell me what is the Berlin criteria? Or the Berlin criteria Berlin. is composed of what? Berlin criteria, I'm not sure, ma'am. Okay, uh, right. Right, uh, okay, patient, this patient could also be hypovolemic. So what can you give or... Um, what fluid replacement other than, okay, what fluid re replacement could be ideal for this patient? I'll give, I'll give this patient uh, crystalloids. I'll, uh, I'll give uh, this patient Ringer's lactate, ma. Okay, right. Can you also tell me, how would you manage the nutrition of the patient? I would uh, 
this is a since the patient is, a, is in a hyper meta, metabolic state, I will yes. give the patient high protein. I will give the patient high protein and high carbohydrate uh, diet. I will yes. aim to uh, give the patient adequate uh, 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 elemental di ele uh, elemental uh, supplements such as glutamine and zinc and other micronutrients because the patient is is a uh, is in a hypermetabolic state. Patient uh, burn patients are usually uh, in a lot of pain, right? So, what yeah. uh, should be the ideal management of pain in this case? For uh, this patient, I will use yes. uh, I will use a uh, um, narcotics, narcotic analgesics analges for this patient. All right. Okay. Right. How would you pre how would you prevent hypothermia in this patient? Um, for this patient, uh, I will use um, to reduce the heat loss. I will use a a warmer, other than co a convention warmers for this patient. Yes. How? Um. I will, I will use a. Uh, can you please tell me if you'll do okay. the. Yes. I can use the. Can you read the image, please? Okay. This, is the uh, right, this is the right side and this is the left. So, what are you looking at? Okay. Uh, I think this is a. A, a posterior anterior uh, chest radiograph. Yes. Which uh, which which shows uh, as, uh, in, which shows uh, bilateral pulmonary infiltrates. All right. Anything else? On, on, on both sides. Okay. And um, so th Anything those are what the ones I. Can. And then uh, is the pulmonary infiltrates. That's what I was able to see, ma. All right. Um, what about the angles? Are they fair enough? How is the exposure? Because when you are reading uh, X-ray or any image, so there is a criteria A, B, C, and D. You have to read it accordingly. All the bones are okay. They are visible. How is the exposure? How is there any deformity? Is there anything else that you are looking at? How is the cardiac shadow? So there are many things that you will co comment on. All right, good, thank you. Anyone else want to comment on the extra before we move on? You're all going for the exam, right? Dr. Muhammad Ali, would you want to comment? Yes, ma'am, uh, it looks like there's enlargement of heart shadow, it could be a uh because of the supine position, uh, the X-ray could be taken or it can be due to another cause like yes. enlargement of heart shadow. Yes. And there is uh, uh, the cost of phrenic angles are not clear as well not in this. Uh, yes. Yeah. And, and there are bilateral pulmonary infiltrates, most probably yes. it's ARDS yes. that we are looking at. Good. Yes. Right. Good, thank you. Okay, start with your timer and here is